let's take a breather here, switching gears to the college game, the Thundering Herd. As we mentioned earlier in the show, they have a huge game tomorrow in ACC country. You're going to want to tune in tomorrow afternoon. Marshall rolls into Carter-Finley Stadium, unbeaten to take on NC State. So we have WSAZ Sports Director Keith Morehouse and, of course, Jimmy Tracy. They're joining us from Raleigh with more. What's up, guys? All right, thanks very much. Keith Morehouse, Jim Tracy here outside Carter Finley Stadium, where in just a few hours the herd and the wolf pack get set to do battle. Jimmy, we were here yesterday when Coach Huff and the team walked through. He always likes to give his team, and most coaches do, an opportunity to look at the stadium, get the lay of the land, mm -hmm. and get ready for the game. And they took advantage of that yesterday. Yeah, but not for very long because they had painted the field, and the uh, NC State said, don't walk on the field, but they did for a little bit anyway, just to feel that nice uh, turf. And uh, odds are it's going to get uh, pretty dirty later today uh, between them and NC State. Should be a fun, uh, maybe defensive battle for sure. Yeah, and we talked to him about these walkthroughs and how important they are. And he had a kind of a good point with the transfer portal nowadays and kids just speeding 100 miles an hour through games. He wants them to give a little bit of a reminder and to remember where they played and when they played. Yeah, I think it always helps. Whenever you're going to battle, you know, you want to know your environment, you know, so you can feel comfortable once you get here. Um, I told him before we left, I'm going to show you guys that it's 100 yards by 53 in the third. And at the end of the day, it's still a game. It's still football. Um, but I think it's good. It gives them a chance to take in the moment. You know, sometimes part of college football is getting to some of these stadiums and some of these uh, different places across the country. And you're in and out so fast that, you know, it's 10 years later. and You're like, man, we played there, you know, so it's good for that part. Yeah. All right, Jimmy, that gets us set up for our pregame show. Coming up at 1 o'clock on the CW, me, Jim Tracy, Andrew Colgrove, Taylor Eaton. We got Jake Conley behind the camera, John Robinette helping us with our technical stuff. We're going for an hour to get you psyched up for this game and then the game itself at 2 o'clock. We got plenty to talk about, Jimmy, in that show. Oh, it should be fun. We'll have a feature on uh, Mr. Uh, uh, called him Energizer Bunny, Owen Porter, and the effect he has on this Marshall program for the last six years. What How, how these offenses are going to do because uh, that uh, defensive line for uh, NC State as they talk about all week, is very good. They do not allow teams to run the football. Yeah, one of the subplots all week long has been the new quarterback for NC State. We'll talk about that. We also have a feature on two basketball coaches here in Raleigh, well acquainted with Marshall's program, and also a brotherhood of ex-herd players who want to keep uh, their relationships alive within the herd football program. So we'll do all that. One o'clock, game starts at two. For Jim Tracy, I'm Keith Morehouse. We'll see you then. All righty, thanks guys, and really thanks to the whole team down there, all of them hard at work. You heard Keith mention the team we have down there. They do a heck of a job anytime we send them on the road. You're going to want to tune into that show. Show, of course, will remind you again that Marshall versus NC State pregame show tomorrow, 1 o'clock on the Tri-State CW. But for now, we'll take a little bit of a break. and. Uh